Cretaceous. The other dinosaurs only live here. But even the king can't save them from the biggest Cretaceous killer of all. You are traveling back in time. Millions of years flash by in seconds. You're going face to face with the wildest creatures that ever walked the earth. You're about to explore a prehistoric planet. It's the end of the Cretaceous period. Earth is a dangerous place. And these volcanoes are a big part of the problem. 65 million years from now, this will be a calm, cool Montana mountain range. But at the moment, these giant smokestacks are making a total mess of this part of the world. This is one hurting planet. And it's going to get a whole lot worse before it gets better. The dinosaurs' days are numbered. While they're still here, though, this is their ruler. You know him. You love him. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Also known as the Tyrant Lizard King. The biggest name in dinosaurs is also the biggest carnivore to ever walk the earth. 17 feet tall and 45 feet long. That's half the length of a basketball court. And those monster jaws can bite off 150 pounds of meat in one bloodthirsty bite. Uh, 150 pounds is just about my size. Lucky for me, the king's picking up the scent of something even tastier. Rotting flesh. If dead meat's your thing, this is the place to find it. That mist is stenchified sulfur fumes. But there's something much worse. The Earth is also belching up carbon dioxide. This dinosaur wandered into a cloud of the stuff and suffocated to death. Carbon dioxide hangs low to the ground since it's heavier than air. Of course, a rampaging T-Rex isn't scared of a little gas leak. As long as he keeps his head way up there, 15 feet above the ground, he's safe. Is he? Uh-oh. See? Now he's dizzy. The carbon dioxide is getting to him. But if he leaves empty-handed, he could starve to death. And if he stays, he might never leave at all. Some choice. He's moving in. And he's got it. The living's a lot easier.